Alright, last time I showed you how to randomly instance, scale, and rotate a bunch of objects. This time, I'm going to show you how you can base mass on those scale, those random scales, and have forces act accordingly, except gravity, because as we all know, Galileo said some Italian stuff, which I don't speak. So I'm going to go through this a little faster this time. Create all my objects. Create an emitter. Get my outliner out. Select all my objects, particle shape, and instance them. And then I have to go in and add all my custom attributes. So first you need a custom index. Float per particle. And this time I'm just going to show you guys scale. We won't worry about rotations this time. Some scale is a vector. And this time I'll add a random number which we'll use to determine our scale and our mass, which is a float. Okay. So in our creation expression, like before, we'll go a random value between 0 and 8 to make sure we get all our objects instanced. We'll use this random number value to determine our scale and our mass. So we want our scale and our mass to be anywhere between half the size and double the size. The handy trick, if you only have one particle object in your scene, you don't have to type particle shape one every time, you can just type the attribute, which is handy. And you can just jam that in there. And custom scale. Will equal this three times. Span it out so you can see. All right. So let's connect all our attributes in our instancer. So all we did this time was scale, just custom scale, and our custom index. I'm going to add a little speed, more speed to my emitter, so they come out better. Okay, so we got all of our stuff happening. And actually, I'm going to turn down my speed to zero and show you what a radius or a radial field will do. Turn that down to zero. And I'm going to turn my conserve down so all of our movement is only coming from our force, which I haven't applied, so nothing's moving. So in our outliner, I'll grab my particle fields and add a radial field. Okay, so your emitter has to have a little speed, otherwise nothing will come out unless you use a volume emitter. So, I got my radial field in here. We'll 
turn it down a little bit. Now when you hit play. kind of hard to tell so let's make our values a little bit more drastic let's turn this down to 0 0.1 and this up to 5 You can see all those little ones are going out, and then the bigger ones start after that. I must have attenuation on, on my radial field, otherwise they would keep on going. Hmm. But you get the idea. If it's got a low mass, forces act on it a little bit sooner than the big ones because those big guys aren't moving at all. And there you go.